Across North East London, we're transforming cancer care by making it faster, more effective and personalised for our patients. Our focus is on improving how quickly patients are diagnosed and treated. By working together across hospitals and GP practices, we're meeting and exceeding national targets, making sure patients get the care they need sooner. In 2024 to 2025, national data showed we are the top performing alliance in the country when it comes to ensuring that cancer patients receive their first treatment within 31 days of a decision to treat. In addition, North East London Cancer Alliance has consistently met the faster diagnosis standard, where patients are given the results of a suspected cancer diagnosis within 28 days of a referral. We've been introducing more nursing roles, increasing administrative capacity and developing stronger clinical collaboration across the system. At the same time, we have been introducing new technology to the cancer pathway. For example, the use of artificial intelligence in cancer care. So how else have we been achieving strong performance? Well, strong performance relies upon strong partnerships. We've been working very hard with our GPs and hospitals to make sure that the journey is as smooth as possible from receiving the referral all the way through to the care that the patient receives. As a GP clinical lead for the Diagnostic and Treatment Programme, I work in the background to make sure that I establish the links between the GP practices, the community services and the hospitals. A key focus is on improving a patient's cancer journey, ensuring they are seen and treated as quickly as possible. We do this by proactively taking into account differences in our communities to reduce health inequalities so that everyone has equal access to improved services. Here are some examples of how we are improving diagnosis and treatment for our patients. Multidisciplinary team meetings or MDTs are essential but they can take up a lot of time so we're changing the way that we work by using clear predetermined treatment protocols for low risk prostate cancer. This means quicker decisions for patients and also frees up time for specialists to focus on complex cases. Backed by NHS England guidance, this model reduces unnecessary delays optimises workforce use and supports sustainable service delivery. It's not about cutting corners, it's about smarter, safer collaboration that puts patients first. We are also developing a series of educational clinical animation, easy to understand videos that supports suspected cancer patients through their diagnosis and treatment. So this video, we've given we've give them a visual understanding of what, what it is to be expected. One patient understand the urgency of the appointment, you know, knowing what to expect. We feel we will help with the, with the attendance as well of the appointment and reduce non-attendances. So we're going to have it translated into different languages. We're also going to have the British Sign Language in as well and also audio captions. We're also developing clinical animation training videos tailored for our booking teams in the hospital, so for our MDT coordinators, because they're the ones that manage the cancer pathways. So we're giving them that extra level of training to equip them even more. We've also created clinical animations to make cancer treatments easier to understand for patients and their families in North East London. These animations, developed with our partners, aim to reduce anxiety, support informed decision making and bridge language barriers. And they allow better conversations between patients and healthcare professionals. We also want to improve access to clinical trials and ensure that everyone has the information they need to feel confident in their care. The use of artificial intelligence in cancer care is another area that we're moving forwards at pace. For example, we're using AI to speed up the review of chest X-ray results. It measures lung nodules automatically, helping radiologists work faster and more accurately, so that patients can get results sooner and avoid unnecessary tests. Another effective use of AI is introducing smart systems to handle repetitive admin tasks. This reduces pressure on staff and means that they can focus on more urgent referrals and patient care. And we're also working on an AI imaging tool to help speed up radiology reporting. Using AI to flag the most suspicious scans first means that they can be looked at sooner. 
Linking automation to the cancer pathway like these two examples helps improve our overall operational performance and more importantly, helps give patients more time to complete diagnostics and start their treatment sooner. Another exciting area where we're using AI is in skin cancer diagnosis. We're using a tool called DERM by Skin Analytics in Barkey and Dagenham to help triage worrying skin lesions. Patients can attend a community clinic and have a photo taken of the worrying lesion. The software analyses the image and alerts doctors if follow-up is recommended, which means faster results. We're also working with the Homerton, City and Hackney GPs and a company called Isla to improve patients' access to skin cancer diagnostics. I'm working to improve histopathology services across North East London. The focus of these services is to examine tissues to diagnose diseases such as cancer. In addition, I'm working with teams to improve reporting efficiency and highlight and identify any issues across the service. We are working with the pathology teams to improve the time it takes to process a biopsy so the patient's cancer journey is as efficient as it can be. This will help us to reduce waiting times for patients and improve quality of samples, ensuring samples received by the lab are appropriate, processed electronically and graded correctly. All of our work from diagnostic innovation, including artificial intelligence, to better education and collaboration, is about faster diagnosis, reducing inequalities and improving care and outcomes ultimately for our patients in North East London. We're really privileged to be leading this change, improving services, supporting staff and ultimately saving lives. And it's thanks to the diagnosis and treatment team in the North East London Cancer Alliance that we can work together, try new things and deliver real results for patients.